It's not about me feeling bigger. It's just about, I don't want a fat girl. I don't want a girl big as hell. Facts. <laughs> Women, you guys have one job. Make sandwiches and don't be a whore. Not hard. That is ridiculous. <laughs> he has absolutely zero water. Yeah. I've had enough. What's up guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. We are back with part two of the reaction to Myron Gaines on the grilling date showcasing zero gain. If you missed part one, you can check it out in the end screen. It was quite a laugh and we will resume with part two now. You can either understand women or respect them, but you can't do both <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> so in part one, if you missed it as a quick recap, he was demanding that the girl stand up and give him a hug. She was like, no, kiss my hand. He's like, no, no, that's lame. That's lame. I'll leave if you won't give me a hug. She's like, I'm not going to stand up and give you a hug. He's like, that's lame. That's lame. Confrontational, combative, retarded. Then he starts saying all this shit, how if you understand women, you cannot respect them. Okay. And he was also referring to women as hoes to this girl's face. He's like, yeah, I understand hoes. She's like, you mean women? He's like, no, I mean hoes. <laughs> now he's trying to convince the girl that once you understand women, there's no possible way to respect them. What is he talking about? I don't think that's a true <laughs> statement. I think with understanding women, you'd learn to respect them more. The same as understanding a man, you don't, you'd learn to respect him more. No, nah, you can't respect them as equals once you understand them. <laughs> Keep in mind, he's just shoveling misogyny and women hating like wholesale at his audience. Still respect them as a woman and what they, what value they hold I'm and what they bring. I'm speaking from an equality standpoint. Like I can't respect them as equals since I understand them. And I think that's the way they like it anyway. <laughs> he thinks that you cannot respect a woman once you understand them. And he thinks that's how they like it anyways. Okay, see how far gone he is? He's totally, his mind is totally warped. We can respect each other for their gender. Like I will respect a man for being a man and what he provides as a man. And you could respect a woman for the things that she could provide that you could never do. If you understand women, there's no way you can respect them as equals. That's, that's why. My that's the Myron Gaines theorem. If you understand them, there's no way you can, you can respect them, bro. They're never going to be an equal in your mind. <laughs> that's why he wrote the book, Women Deserve Less. <laughs> what a fucking retard. Respect them as an equal. Because we're way different. Yeah, but you can still respect the fact that you're different and respect what they're capable of that you're not. Men and women aren't equal. It's just funny how women want you to treat them as equals, but everything that they're actually attracted to and aroused by, most importantly, is not equal. I can't believe what I'm hearing. For example, <laughs> perfect example. I came down here. I said, oh, give me a hug. Would you say, oh, well, it's traditional. Kiss my hand. Yes, that did not sound English. That right there in itself signifies the difference between men and women. Yeah. You displayed it yourself a second ago. Also, that's fine. Doesn't mean you can't respect that. Okay, so what, what's your... <laughs> They're doing cuts. Look, that was just a cut in the little date here. This poor girl has to deal with this fucking retard who sucks with chicks, who repels chicks, who hates chicks. <laughs> Let's pop up some of these pictures where he's hugging and kissing men, okay, in the bed. All right, he can't kiss the girl's hand but he seems to, to not be able to get enough of these these uh, boys he's roughhousing with. Type. <laughs> not fat. Okay. Not a hoe. What would you classify as fat? Like, it, it's just crazy to me how like, there's so many girls that are like, you know, big as hell. Like I weigh about 195 to 200 pounds. There's <laughs> Now he's gonna talk about fat girls. There's so many girls that are big as hell. Girls that weigh as much as me and I'm 6'3". So it's like, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, there'll be a hundred kilos and expect you so to- So you wanna feel bigger than the woman? It's not about me feeling bigger, it's just about I don't want a fat girl. It's unacceptable. Just like, <laughs> I don't want a fat girl. It's unacceptable, bro. He's 195 pounds at 6'3". I'm like 220 right now at 6'4". Women don't want a man shorter than them. I don't want a girl big as hell. Facts. Do you not think that's... <laughs> <laughs> they do the cutaway to his little one-on-one. -on -one. Facts. Uh, before we continue with this, guys, Okay, <laughs> I am running the best program in the whole industry. We have over 1,250 testimonials on a page. I can permanently solve your problems with girls very quickly. All you have to do is book a free 30-minute strategy call with the link in the description of pinned comment. And someone from my team will help you fix all your problems and give you what your options are. Quite like offensive to women. In what way? Calling them fat as hell. Yeah, because they're in direct control. He's like, in what way am I being offensive? I've just called them hoes, said they're uh, completely unequal, said they're fat as hell. Every morsel <laughs> of food that goes in their mouth, that's even worse. 
Just like a dude is in control of how much money he earns. That's what all these red pillars do on their like little live internet dates. They try to educate the girl about how terrible women are in front of the audience, just so everyone's aware and on the same page. Woman's in control of how much food she consumes. Also, men are in control of. Imagine going on a date and being like, yeah, women are hoes. They're all uh, below us. Uh, they need to submit and, and respect and, and know what's up. And, and they can't be shoving morsels of food in their mouth. How much food they consume <laughs> so men can also get it. Well, yeah, it's unacceptable to be fat as a man as well, but it's even worse when you're a female because at least as a man you can make up for your lack of aesthetics men have to provide value and utility in way more than one way women you guys have one job make sandwiches what more <laughs> <laughs> hey lady on the e-date with me just so you know you guys have one job make sandwiches you can't even <laughs> i've been pre-chest to react to this those guys always lose it when they say stuff like that but come on like, look at the message. Women are all below us. Women are hoes. Women's job is just to make sandwiches. He's just trying to act like Andrew Tate, basically. But he actually believes all this shit. He thinks that's actually true stuff. Two jobs. Make sandwiches, be hot. Three jobs. And don't be a whore. Not hard. That is ridiculous. <laughs> make sandwiches, be hot, and don't be a whore. Those are the, the three cornerstones of being a woman. So all you require from a woman, and you think all we're capable of as women, is making sandwiches, looking good. See, she's just like taking this as a joke, but he's like fully serious. That's the scary part. He's like, yeah, that's literally their only job is to make sandwiches. What was the third thing? Not, not, being, not a being a whore. Not being a whore. Well, I didn't say that's all they're capable of. What I'm saying is that these are things that men tend to value. Women tend to think that we care about <laughs> like their opinions and all this other stuff. We don't care about none of that. <laughs> Oh, it keeps getting worse and worse. Women think we care about their opinions. Nah, bro. We don't care about none of that. <laughs> we just want them to make the sandwiches. Men actually don't want a lot, guys. We're very simple. Women's opinions, of course, are valid. This guy has got everything seriously twisted. <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. He's a total fucking loser. What needs to happen for a child to be born? The obvious. Sex, right? Sexual. How does a man go about getting sex? Um, I don't know. Uh, you, you have a exactly. load of posts, so it's probably really exactly. easy. Delusional female, what's new? Let's talk about the race. Let's talk about the guy having a... Now he's going to insult her. Delusional female feminist. Uh. All this value. Let's talk about the guy being useless at 18 years old versus a woman at 18 years old. Everyone's trying to fly her out. If she's hot enough, she has an Instagram profile. She's getting offers from dudes that are, you know, $1 million, $2 million net worth, etc. As a man, you have to build yourself up to even be able to get sex. Women are just offered sex. I don't think that's existence. true, actually, because if you're a good looking guy, like you said, there's plenty of women around that, that will happily have sex. If you're a good looking guy. <laughs> we all know that it's not easy for guys to get laid. If it was, guys would be watching porn. <laughs> so funny they in invite such a fucking loser on the show. We all know it's not easy for guys to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to OnlyFans or all this other fuckery that we got going on with sex work. It's not harder for men to have sex. It might be harder for men to have sex with higher value women. But like you said, there's hoes, hoes everywhere. There's women of less value <laughs> or less attractive than you that would happily sleep with you. So it's not harder. You're just looking in the wrong places. Okay, what does it take to be a good looking guy? It depends. Everyone's idea of, of good looking differs, but most people find a lot of men attractive these days. Okay. Like the standards aren't very high. I keep it simple. So, so for as a guy to be attractive, you have to be tall. Most women want a guy over six feet tall. <laughs> Here we go. Now he's going to roll out all the stereotypes. Oh, if the guy's attractive, he has to be over six feet tall. I cannot count the number of friends and clients I have that absolutely demolish, get multi hundred lay counts. As short guys, there's tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of hot girls available to short guys too. This is just more fucking coping and bullshit. Oh, you have to be over six feet. Oh, you have to make six figures. That's all bullshit. Stop listening to retard losers that have no fucking clue what they're talking about. Men don't most about say that. this, but then when it actually comes down to it and you ask them about their pasts, most men probably aren't over well, six Well, you said good looking and casual sex. So if a woman's gonna go ahead and have casual sex and good look. She's like, no, it's not actually that big of a deal in practice. And he's like, okay, well, hold on, on to the next uh, stereotypical point here. With a guy, she's typically gonna want a guy that's like, very, very attractive. It depends so, how drunk she is. People get laughed into bed all the time. The point I'm trying to make is, is that women typically want a guy who's better than them in every regard. So for a guy to get sex is very difficult. And then you're t mentioning, oh, well, he could just be good looking. That's not easy for a man. You have to go to the gym. You have to build your body up. You have to dress well, smell well. Then you have to also have but game, even if you're a good looking guy. the same for a woman. She's got no fucking idea, man. <laughs> He's like, he hasn't dealt with all the OnlyFans hood rat ghetto trash that I have over the past three years. I know what's up, bro. 
facts. He has absolutely zero idea. <laughs> yes, there you go. Let's replay that clip. He has absolutely zero idea. He has absolutely zero idea. He has absolutely zero idea. Okay, the guy is so far fucking gone out in left field. He's so far demented. His little stupid brain that barely functions is so twisted up from interacting with all these pieces of shit on his dumb show that he's like lost it, right? But the problem is, it's funny, right? The problem is he's fucking shoveling all this dog shit into guys' mouths. He's like, no, bro, you have to be over six foot or you're fucked. Oh, no, bro, you have to make a lot of money and have a high net worth or you're fucked. Uh, no, bro, blah, 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 blah. Then when you get the girl, all that she's good for is making sandwiches and she's a hoe and she belonged to the streets and blah, blah, blah. No, that's all fucking wrong. That's all fucking poison. It's all fucking nonsense. And you're a hugely bad example for all your little stupid subscribers that hang on your every word as you go around just peddling misogyny and women hating. That's all that is. That's all that's going on here. Pure misogyny and women hating and him trying to talk about how you would land like an OnlyFans gold figure, gold digger piece of trash. You fuck every good looking guy you talk to? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Oh, okay. I'm not talking about me. You said you surround yourself with hoes, and I'm saying if you do surround yourself <laughs> with hoes, then sex is easily obtainable. For good looks, sense. a lot of the times, might get your foot in the door, but if you're not able to convey yourself in a certain way, have a certain tonality, have a certain confidence, speak in a certain way. But do you not think that's the same with a woman? No. We still have to go to the gym. No, we, we actually appreciate it when you guys are quiet. I've had enough. <laughs> She's like, I've had enough. She has no words. He said, we appreciate when you guys are quiet. To recap, he says, we don't care about women's opinions. We appreciate when they're quiet. They're all below us. We think they like it that way. He's like, they have to submit. They're all just hoes. Like, he's just insulted and berated women in general the entire time. He's come across as a misogynistic, women-hating, complete asshole the entire time. He's insulting this girl to her face the entire time, right? And the girl's like, I've had enough. She had enough like in the beginning when he's like, no, you gotta stand up, that's lame. Hey, you gotta stand up. Let's show that clip there from the beginning of, of episode one. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice Martin. to meet you. You gonna give me a hug or what? Oh no, that's lame. That's the traditional way. Yeah, that's lame, stand up. Or you could just sit down. I'm gonna walk out then. <laughs> no, I'll leave if you don't stand up, girl. He's making it a, a combative standoff in the first five seconds. I can show you exactly how to run a date, how to never run out of things to say, how to sexualize the conversation so that she doesn't friend zone you, how to move things forward, how to invite her back to your house, how to answer any objections she has to coming home with you, and how to make them all go very, very well so that you sleep with most of the girls. To learn how to do that, go book a free 30 minute call with the link in the description or pinned comment and someone from my team will go over all the details and pricing with you. But if we went on a first date and yeah. I- The girl, like in a normal scenario, she would've been like, oh, I have to go to the bathroom and she would've just fucking booked the fuck out of there. She has no words at this point, right? He's just been insulting the entire time. Oh, we don't care about your opinions, okay? Cause you're a woman and we prefer that you stay quiet while you're making your sandwiches. Sat there and I was like, mm-hmm. You're gonna think, one, she's boring, two, she's got no personality, three, she's got zero substance. Now, as much as you say all you want is someone to look good and make sandwiches, realistically, you're gonna get <laughs> so bored of that if the person you're dating has no substance. Well, so imagine dating Myron. He's like, hey, bitch, hey, ho, is that sandwich ready? <laughs> she's like, I'm still working on it, Myron. By the way, I had some thoughts about, no, we don't care about your opinion, bitch. <laughs> Keep making that sandwich. Most women are boring in general. Imagine as a guy and, you know, hot girls want to. Now he's saying most women are boring in general. Like most shit that he says is just completely way off. I've dated thousands of girls all around the world. Lots of girls are really awesome and really cool. You don't have to look at them as below you. You can look at them as on the same level as you. That doesn't make me a feminist. Okay, this makes me a guy that actually knows what he's talking about with girls because he's actually experienced thousands of women. This little dork doesn't know the first thing about proper game or about how to treat a girl or any of that kind of stuff. Okay, he's actively repelling girls. People that are around him in his real life say, that he hates women, that he has no regulars, that they all hate him too. What do you expect? Look how he's acting towards them. This is not a good role model. This is not someone that should be leading a men's podcast or telling men anything about women whatsoever. Okay, this guy's just a horrible influence on society. Fly you out and suck your dick and smash you just for you existing. Would you actually go to the gym and develop yourself? The answer is a profound fucking no. 
And the hottest girls especially are boring. That's not also very true. I think it just depends on how you were, you were raised and, and your upbringing and what you were surrounded with. Now he says all the hottest girls are really boring. Keep in mind, he's gone and, and done whole episodes on his dumb show saying why you should never date nines or tens because they're all terrible universally. It's all a load of horseshit, but he actually believes all this nonsense. He is wrong. I do not care. That is wrong. There's a lot of people that you wouldn't find attractive that are also boring. There's a lot of people in general. But no one that cares about ugly very girls. Boring. No one cares about ugly girls. But the, what I'm saying is that <laughs> hot girls a lot of times are boring because they've never had to develop themselves to become attractive. Oh yeah, here we go. His whole theory about nines and tens. Keep in mind, let's pop up the email where he asked me for coaching in 2019. He said he's banging girls between a four and an eight. Okay, keep in mind that range does not include nines and tens. His explanation for that is all nines and tens are terrible. Okay, they're terrible people. They have nothing to offer besides their looks. That's all theoretical nonsense. Okay, I've dated countless hot girls all around the world. Lots of them are very awesome and very cool. There's nothing that precludes a hot girl from having a good personality. The problem is for him, those girls would never, ever, ever date him in a million years for obvious reasons. He just has this horrible opinion of women. He talks down to them the entire time. Listen to what he's saying. Oh, we don't care about their opinions. We want them to stay quiet. They have nothing to offer. They're all boring. They're all... He's so fucking warped in his head. Okay, and he's pushing all these views on his followers. And I get people that come to me for coaching help that are like, hey, I'm being combative and confrontational towards women. And I'm not sure why. It's because they're watching retards like him. Okay, do yourself a favor. If you're watching this kind of nonsense, cut it off because it's complete poison and it's going to hurt your dating life. Okay, this is not a real expert. This is not a real man. This is a little boy who's a loser, who's very confused and trying to be cool on camera. This little leather jacket indoors. Oh, let me tell you, ho, about how girls are below us and how they're all boring and they belong in the kitchen making sandwiches, right? And no girl wants to hear that stuff and it's stupid and it's nonsensical and no girl wants to fuck this retard, okay? Except maybe a piece of trash that's on his show that's just doing it because he's a, a leader of a podcast. Again, I can help you guys with a real dating solution. We have over 1,250 testimonials on a page. I know this game inside out. I know all the angles. I can help you accomplish your goals very quickly. All you have to do is book a free 30 minute call with the link in the description and pin comment. We will stop there for now. Maybe I'll do a part three. Make sure you check out the end screen to see part one and make sure you let me know what you think in the comments. Ask any questions you have down below in the comments as well. Make sure you like the video to help the algorithm and make sure you subscribe to never miss a video. Thank you guys and I'll see you on a video soon. Take care. Take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smells like two chicks before noon.